Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can embed a calendar view of a list on the SharePoint page. Uh, so let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a Microsoft list, uh, Microsoft or SharePoint list, as we call it. Uh, and uh, what I did previously, I created a calendar view of the same list so I can view the same information in this uh, calendar mode. And by the way, if you're curious on how to do that, I actually recorded another video earlier. You can find it on my YouTube channel and I will include the link uh, in the notes and the description of this video as well. But here's what I would like to do. I would like to include this calendar view on a SharePoint page, all right? So in my situations, I have this list. It's residing on my company intranet. Uh, here it is. I would like to include this calendar somewhere here, uh, maybe and embed it right onto the page. Now, up until recently, we couldn't do it, all right? This was not possible. Uh, luckily, there were some changes made, and now we can embed a list uh, with the calendar view and essentially view the calendar right from within a page. Let me show you how to do that. All you need to do is just click this edit button. We need to edit the page, of course, and I'm going to add a section here. Let's go for two columns, all right? And maybe you can have some information on this column on the right. Over here, I'm going to embed my list, all right? So uh, my calendar view resides in this list right here. All right, and obviously by default, uh, the default view of a list is uh, just a table, just like that with the rows and columns. However, I want I don't want that, I want the calendar view. So what you need to do is click this little pencil icon, all right, and under the available views, it will give you a list of all the available views on that list. You need to choose calendar, all right, and hit apply. And here it is. All you need to do is just republish it, and here it is. Now I have my SharePoint page with a calendar embedded, all right? Um, just a few additional things you can do here. Uh, so first of all, if it's not enough real estate, maybe you want it a little bit larger, uh, you can obviously uh, always go for maybe a single column layout, just like I did here, all right? And another thing I like to do is if you click the pencil icon over here, uh, all right, um, maybe we don't want uh, to uh, take uh, extra you know, space with all this uh, different headers over here with the command bar. So what we can do is just eliminate it, all right? We just uh, toggle the switch, hit apply, hit republish, and here it is, uh, our, you know, obviously SharePoint page with the calendar embedded, and you can pretty much cycle through, um, you know, this calendar through different uh, you know, months uh, right from the convenience of your SharePoint page. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this uh, quick video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.